Okay, so let's start with System Manager. So System Manager is an AWS service that you can access through the console uh, that lets you uh, view, but also control your infrastructure. Uh, so you can actually view the operational data from multiple AWS services. You can automate operational tasks across uh, multiple AWS resources. So that basically it helps you maintain a good security and compliance um, by scanning your managed instances, reporting on, but also actually can take corrective actions on any policy violation that it can detect. All right, so in a nutshell, actually, SSM looks something like this, especially the part that uh, I'm going to focus on about is called run command, which is one part of the system manager that allows you to run commands on fleet of instances. It was initially launched to be able to update Windows fleets, but uh, the agent has been now ported to uh, Windows and Linux. So you can use that to run commands on fleets of any type of instances, really. You can access system manager via the SDKs, the console, of course, and CLI. And today we'll uh, demo the console and the CLI quickly. System manager uses uh, IM, um, uh, IM roles that you need to give to an instance to be able to speak with SSM. Right? So uh, all that is, of course, documented. This is the kind of role that you need to give to your instances to be able to talk with SSM via SSM messages and EC2 messages. And of course, this is the more complete uh, role necessary for the entire suite of SSM capabilities. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's well documented and you can access that from uh, really the documentation. Um, when you execute run command, you can store the output of that command into uh, an S3 bucket and you can also uh, I'll put this into Amazon CloudWatch logs, okay? So an important thing to uh, explain is to be able to run command on instances, you need to have an agent on that instances, right? Uh, now, the good thing is that the agent is installed by default on Amazon uh, Linux instances 1 and 2, on Ubuntu 16.04 and 18.04, on Windows servers, 2016 and 2019, and also on EC2 um, on ECS optimized instances. The agent is actually open sourced. You can access it from the AWS uh, GitHub account, and then uh, introspect, verify the code. Uh, it's always a good security practice to actually look at what you have running on your instances. Um, the agent doesn't run by default, is actually uh, is enabled once you uh, give an instance the role uh, that allows it to uh, talk with SSM that the agent will get uh, executed and will be enabled. Now you can see here when uh, you want to execute run command on instances, you need to get the collections or the commands from uh, a collection of documents called SSM documents. Um, now for chaos engineering purposes, I, uh, I created a repository which has a collection of a bunch of chaos engineering experiments stored into SSM documents. And there are YAML files. This is, for example, a CPU stress that we'll use today. Uh, this is the document. You have the description of the document, the parameters um, that you give to uh, the document and then those parameters actually are used uh, in run command to uh, pass directly into the command. So what you can see as well in the repository is actually something called upload document that allows you to basically upload your the collection of, your doc of documents onto your uh, AWS account. I have a few instances that are already chaos ready. So that means I've installed um, the agent. Well, I didn't install the agent. It was installed by default, but I gave it the IM role uh, to be able to 
communicate with SSM. Right? So let's div dive um, dive deep <laughs> div dive dive deep onto uh, the SSM uh, run command. All right. So when you log into the AWS console, you can uh, scroll down into run command. All right, and here, of course, you need to click run command. Since I've uploaded all the documents, uh, I need to filter by owners because they are my documents. And then you can select basically any of those documents, right? So let's take the CPU stress, for example. Um, you can select the version of the document you want to use. And this is actually a good feature uh, every time you upload uh, a document it increases the version of that document so that means you can well uh, you don't have to re-upload or delete documents uh, to try to improve or do small corrections uh, which is a good thing um, you can see here the command parameters that are uh, directly in the document they are still the default value and it will keep that uh, for this experiment and then you can select your targets uh, you can choose uh, or specify the instance by tags. Uh, so here you can see I have uh, SSM tag with chaos ready. So I could uh, I could use SSM tag with values uh, chaos ready, chaos ready, and then you can uh, you can select uh, that, or you can directly select your uh, instance manually. Okay, so. Here, I will execute those commands on two of those EC2 standards instance. You can see here, actually, there is one instance that is uh, ECS, Container Service Instance. So you actually can also execute uh, the run, run command on your uh, ECS Container Service Instances. Okay. Then, once you've selected your targets, uh, you uh, can select the timeout in case uh, in case that comment fails how fast you want that comment to uh, timeout 600 is rather uh, the rather uh, long timeout so let's uh, move that to 60 seconds if it fails after 60 seconds I don't want the comment to hang really for uh, uh, 10 minutes then you can define the rate control uh, or the concurrency that's Basically, if you have really, really uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of um, instances and you want to target a uh, few of those at the same time, so all of them uh, with an error uh, threshold as well, uh, I'm not using this. Uh, I really want to execute on my selected targets for all of them. Then you can define the output. Uh, of your command so here this is what I discussed we can output uh, write the output of the command into an S3 bucket or you can uh, you can also uh, write the command output to uh, cloudwork logs okay you can specify your uh, log group name uh, name if you if you wish now the good thing is you can also use SNS notification uh, to send uh, uh, events that every time you execute the command you for example can send SMS or emails to uh, your organization to tell them that something is happening right so uh, this is something I strongly suggest uh, you do and then nice thing about the uh, this uh, UI is that it gives you actually the uh, command line options right so command so we'll uh, do this to test the CLI uh, afterwards. All right, so now let's run the experiment. Um, before uh, executing the command, I want to show you, these are my instances that I've selected. I've already logged in and I'm running htop to show you the value of the CPU um, and see how the experiment affects this in real time. All right, so let's run that this is now successfully sent and you see it's already running stress ng is already executed um, now you can say okay wow my experiment uh, is gonna last 60 seconds but i want to cancel it right away so you can actually do this if you wish uh, that's because the stress ng command 
uh, includes the duration. So that means, uh, well, in, in, and frankly, it doesn't change the state. If you use something called IP tables uh, or TC, you will have to uh, wait the duration of the command to stop so that it can actually revert. Um, just have a look a little bit at the documents, how it works. So here my experiment has executed and I've canceled it and I can actually rerun it if I want. Okay, and you see it's already gonna start running very fast. All that is now uh, uh, cool, but of course you want to automate things and, uh, and then you probably want to use the, uh, the CLI for that. So let's push this uh, via the CLI and you see it's AWS SSM send command. You check your document, right? And then all basically the, the same thing that you've done uh, using the um, console, all right? So let's execute that. And then let's go back into the CPUs and see how things are happening. Um, yeah, so that works as well <laughs> as expected. <laughs> and um, then we can, of course, see that command uh, ID here and it's in progress and you can look at also the comment description what was what was there and what are the parameters that were used for that comment okay so let's of course cancel that for the moment all right and we're back to uh, to normal that's good all right so this was um, a quick run and demo about how to use uh, system manager and run command to uh, do failure injection for your chaos experiments. Um, you can actually uh, see the full details on my blog if you go into my Medium uh, uh, page and, uh, and uh, you can search for my uh, injecting chaos to Amazon EC2 using system manager. And here there's the blog that takes you through all the steps that you, you can take. <laughs> Um, and how it works and, and, and things like this. There's more uh, more details and uh, you can actually uh, download all the all the all the things that I've demoed today. All right, so that's it for uh, for SSM for now. Thank you very much.